Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over a strong competitive moveset build to teach Agron in the third generation Pokemon games and whether these moves are learned through leveling up through TM or picking them up through move tutors. Also going to be touching on the abilities as well as item and nature that you might want to have on your Agron. And starting off, looking at the type of Steel Rock, it actually leaves Aggron resisting to a lot of different things. So immune to poison and strongly resisting flying and normal in a competitive situation. If you can switch in your Aggron predicting that the opponent might be using a poison type or a flying or normal type attack, it's going to allow Aggron to be switched in and then strongly defend against that type of attack. But then it also resists things like Bug, Dark, Dragon, Ghost, Ice, Psychic, and Rock. So a lot of things... That Agron Steel and Rock typing leaves it resistant to. The downside here is being very weak to fighting and grounded, then also weak to water. In terms of the stats, Agron, very high defensive stat off the charts at 180. Also respectable attack at 110. Then all the other stats, mediocre to lower tier. HP at 70, special attack and defense each at 60, and speed the lowest down there at 50. In terms of the ability, Sturdy is often recommended because in your build, if you don't have a move that utilizes Rockhead, then you may as well go with Sturdy. But I also believe there's a slight tweak to this build that could make Rockhead a pretty decent option to go with if you wanted to have that ability instead. And I'll touch on that when we get down to the move set. So first we're going to go over these moves and also another option that you can go with if instead of going with Sturdy, you wanted to go with that Rockhead ability. And then after that, going to be touching on where you can pick up the leftovers item and some nature options that you can go with. So move number three and four, substitute and focus punch. I'm a big fan of that particular combination, especially if you switch in on something like a normal fighting or poison type attack that isn't going to do a ton to Agron. Then you can throw out a substitute while your opponent probably switches the Pokemon that they have out there. Then you're hiding behind a substitute. And when your opponent attacks that substitute, and you use Focus Punch, so you take the damage, and then you hit back with a Focus Punch while you're hiding behind that Substitute. It's a really nice combination. Substitute takes one-fourth of the user's max HP to put in a Substitute, and this is also a nice combo with Leftovers, which is going to allow you to regain some of that health over the course of the battle. And there's a couple of different move tutors that you can learn Substitute from. I'll start with the one that's in Emerald here, and this tutor is situated in Lilicove City at the top of the Lilicove Mega Center, and it will teach Substitute to a willing Pokemon. If you're playing Fire Red or Leaf Green, there's also an option over there in Fuchsia City where Substitute can be taught once to a Pokemon if you talk to the boy that's in front of the Kangaskhan's pen in the Fuchsia City Zoo. And Focus Punch is TM01 and it's found over on Route 115 in the Hoenn region. And if we take a look at the map here at Hoenn Route 115, it's in the top northwest corner of the map all the way up in this area. And you're going to need Surf to go around this area and then run up through this forested area up into this mountainous area. Right in this top section, that's where you're going to find TM01 for Focus Punch. Moving on to moves number one and two, which are recommended here, Rock Slide, which is a 30% chance to make the foe flinch. It's a physical type attack working off of that strong attack stat that Agron has. 75 power, 90 accuracy. You also get a same type attack bonus with it being a Rock type move. And I'll give you another move instead of Rock Slide after I touch on where you can pick this one up. If you're going with the Sturdy ability, then you're probably going to want to go with the Rock Slide in this instance. And in the third gen games, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Rock Slide is found over in the Rock Tunnel. Situated near the end of the Rock Tunnel, this trainer will teach one of your Pokemon, Rock Slide, a strong Rock type move with a chance to flinch. So that's where you can pick up that one. But instead, if you have the ability Rockhead to get some utilization out of this ability, the move that's learned through leveling up all the way there at level 63 for Agron Double Edge, which is 120 power, 100 accuracy using that physical attack stat and not getting recoil on top of it if you have that other ability of rockhead i think that that's a pretty good option to go if you didn't want to go with this standard build so you'd swap out rock slide instead you would go with the move that's learned through leveling up at level 63 which is double edge and then move number two ice beam is just to give you some more coverage to things that might be good against you such as the fact that agron is very weak against ground type attacks if you have ice beam then you can utilize that in your effort to try to counter a ground type pokemon that is being used against you the downside to ice beam is of course that agron doesn't have the highest special by any means at just 60 ice beam gives a 10 percent chance to freeze the target 95 power 100 accuracy and this TM can be found over at the Abandoned Ship, which is in this region right here of the Hoenn map. And if we take a look at where this item is located, it's in the storage closet. And you're going to be able to get a storage key as you work your way through the Abandoned Ship. And then you can utilize that to open up the storage closet to pick up TM-13 Ice Beam. 
And the other way to pick up TM13 Ice Beam is repeatable. It's with 4,000 coin as a prize exchange at the Malvile Game Corner. And this is where that's going to be located in the Hoenn region map. And that rounds out this standard moveset build. And everything is good here if you want to go with just the standard of Sturdy with Rock Slide, Ice Beam, Substitute, and Focus Punch. But I think another legitimate option to go with is the Rock Head ability. And then doing Double Edge instead of Rock Slide if you wanted to go in that direction. So then the item Leftovers... And this can be picked up with repeatable methods in Ruby and Sapphire at the Battle Tower as a random prize for a streak of 35 or more. Or if you're an Emerald at the Battle Frontier, this one isn't random. It's just spending 48 battle points. That's how you can grab it there. You can also pick it up over on the SS title. It's going to be located in the storage room in one of these three waste bins. That's where you can find it over on the SS title. So I touched on ability quite a bit, so now we're going to move on to the nature. Recommended here is Brave, which does make a lot of sense, increasing your attack stat and then decreasing your speed since Agron already has a low speed. Not necessarily the end of the world if you're going to be decreasing that speed stat, since you're oftentimes going to be going second, especially using Focus Punch, which is a decreased priority attack anyways. And looking at our chart of different natures, your best option is going to be increasing that attack stat, and that's why Brave is a really good option to go with. You probably don't want to go with Adamant, because if you decrease your special attack, then Ice Beam isn't going to hit as hard if you choose that particular TM. But if I were to rank these attack increase natures, I would go with Brave as probably being the best, and then Lonely after that. Since you have such a ridiculously high defense anyways, maybe that being decreased isn't the end of the world. You could also potentially go with Naughty, decreasing your special defense, but since your special defense isn't all that great to begin with, you probably don't want to go with that one. And like I said, you probably don't want to go with Adamant either. And then maybe some potential other options. You could go with Quiet. Increasing your special attack would make Ice Beam hit a little bit harder and decreasing your speed. We touched on why that isn't necessarily the end of the world. But you're clearly going to want to rather increase your attack as opposed to your special attack because you're going to be using physical attacks probably more often than you're going to be utilizing Ice Beam. And maybe you could even go with something like a Sassy to increase your special defense, which is a pretty low stat on Agron, reducing that speed stat. But what you definitely want to avoid are things that decrease your attack stat. So you don't want the bold nature, you don't want timid, you don't want modest, and you don't want calm. And that's going to round this one out. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.